Hello, I'm Dr. Court Coghill. Here at the FIAC Institute, we always value the diversity of thought. So we are working to bring people across the spectrum with interesting insight and share their thoughts as it relates to enterprise architecture. We hope you enjoy this EA Short Talk. This session, we talk with John A. Zachman, known as the originator of the Framework for Enterprise Architecture. John has been focusing on enterprise architecture since the 1970s and has written extensively on the subject. He continues to travel both nationally and internationally, teaching and consulting. We caught up with John to find out what he is currently working on. So, John, you know, people, you're really well known uh, for obviously traveling around the world and uh, always keeping involved in different projects. And so we're kind of curious as to uh, what you're doing now. And, and I understand there are, are two projects uh, that are at the top of your list. And I was wondering if you might take a moment and share what you're doing with us related to those projects. Well, yes, I'm not just sitting here watching the trees leave and the grass grow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've been, uh, we, uh, we worked for about a year on the Business Agility Manifesto with Ron Ross, Roger Burlton, and I, and uh, produced a a product that is actually out on the web. There's a website that, that people can go to to get at. It's BUS Business, BUS Agility Manifesto.org. And after I read the uh, the product that we had produced, I thought, boy, this is really a good piece of work. Actually, we, we identified about 50 high risk areas that general management encounters if they try to make. Uh, uh, changes to the enterprise and uh, is not just adding a few more lines of code, uh, getting applications faster, but you have to change the millions of lines of code that you have out there that make structural changes. There's high risk areas that are involved and we identified about uh, 50 of them, classified them into 12 categories and then took each category and they elaborated that as to what you did, how you deal with that uh, with that category. Actually, the best, uh, the most interesting, I thought, uh, uh, product that was in, in included. There's a lot of products in the in the uh, offering, but uh, the best one is the authors speak out. They ask uh, us uh, about all oh, eight or ten questions, and each of us wrote answers to the questions, and that was really interesting. I I I, I learned a lot from that as well myself. Oh, why? Why the Business Agility Manifesto? Why now? Uh, who, who's it uh, aimed at? Uh, what are the things you can do immediately to get short-term benefit and so on? I, I thought they that was really a good product. Anyway, that was one project. We spent about a year working on it, and uh, that's uh, that's just uh, been completed. The second project, interesting. Uh, we've been working with. Uh, I've been working with Tom Redman, uh, David Hay, and Luanga Yankee on a project about uh, uh, producing a common, producing and adopting a common language. That has not been documented. I'm not going to elaborate that uh, much anymore. That will be, in fact, the first draft of the of the products have been produced. Uh, that probably is going to be the first in a series because we have identified in terms of a common language. Uh, and uh, I would just observe this is really a critical problem. I mean, if you don't have a common language, I I, I like uh, that, that old TV series, uh, The Virginian, and the old Westerns on, on television. Well, if you want to trade with the Indians, you got to speak the language. Or something, you got to have some way to have common understanding for trans for performing transactions and for commitment to manage the commitment. So, if there is not a common language within an enterprise or between enterprises, uh, there's not a you can't perform transactions or uh, manage uh, commitment. So, uh, this really a critical issue. So, I think this uh, the first uh, one about developing the common la language and and uh, and uh, adopting it, uh, I think that's the first of a series that we'll probably uh, produce. But that really is interesting. I, I might mention a third thing. Uh, I've known uh, David Hay, probably, I, I knew him. He was one of the original uh, members of the Business Rules Group, uh, which began when I still worked for IBM. That was 30 years ago, I retired. and. 
probably well, within five years before that. But he, he, he's, he's been involved with that. He's very technical modeling, data modeling, uh, uh, logic modeling, uh, the row three model. And he's got some pretty clever ideas about how you make structural changes to uh, the design of the of the of this of the system. And of course, you've heard me observe the system is the enterprise. So you can make structural changes not by changing the records, but you can add data. So uh, I'm uh, working with that, and uh, we I, I will probably include those in my sample models uh, 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 file that is uh, that we we provide for people anybody who takes the. Uh, Zachman certification education course. So that really becomes a pretty critical issue. How do you dynamically change an enterprise structurally uh, so that you don't have to rewrite all the code? I mean, if you start changing the record structure, you're going to rewrite all the code. But how do you do that by by adding data rather than changing the record structure? And uh, David has some really clever ideas about that. So. I'll try to incorporate uh, incorporate that into the uh, into the uh, file that we provide when we run the uh, the certification uh, workshop. And I probably there's probably going to be a few other things that uh, come up. I, that I'm not short on the clever ideas to think about. So now, of course, pro one problem one of my problems is you keep finding things for me to think about. So. Anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot, Court Coggill. <laughs> well, terrific, John. We appreciate you taking a, a couple minutes and uh, kind of talking to us about what it is that you're you're working on. And we look forward to kind of stopping back in here in the near future and, and as you finish projects and move on and see what else you're working on. All right, great. Good talking to you, Court. Thanks right. a lot. All right. Thank you, John. Okay. We hope you found this EA Short Talk interesting, and if so, consider giving us a thumbs up or subscribing. Learn more about our courses and offerings at www.fiatinstitute.org.